W Solver is a PCB impedance tool designed for high speed digital design stack ups. It provides quick what if analysis and rapid prototyping, and it supports eight of the most common PCB structures single ended microstrip and strip line, differential microstrip and strip line, coupled microstrip and strip line, single ended and differential vias. And it really has two main features it acts as an impedance calculator with parameter sweeping and also has an interface to field solvers. So with the W Solver tool, the interface is basically an impedance calculator. And so it uses IPC standard style equations to calculate the impedance for you based on the trace geometry structures like the trace width and the trace thickness. So you can use sliders and you can enter in values here and it'll calculate the impedance and time delay on the eight most common structures of a PCB stack up. You can also do some graphing and parameter sweeping using the calculations trace width and it all plots these versus the impedance which is really what you care about. So I'll show the trace width here versus impedance single ended so you can see that as the trace width increases your impedance goes down. And so you can see that from here you could do quick calculations and quickly determine what your values should be to get the right impedance of your stack up. Now you can also connect W Solver to an external field solver like Synopsys HSpice or an open source one like TNT. And you generate a file and you run it and then you can look at the result there's some extra options of doing rectangle or trapezoid shape and some lossy parameters here. But basically when you view the result, you load in the calculated RLGC value from the field solver and it'll calculate the values for you. So in this case it's just showing the RLC and then it's just calculating the impedance and the time delay for me. And this particular field solver didn't calculate the skin effect and the dielectric uh, loss values. And so it does this across all the structures. So for differential, you can do it the same. You can calculate an estimated differential impedance. And then you can actually run it in a field solver and look at the real result and see that, you know, it is actually a little bit different as of the differential structures. The impedance calculations are, have a higher percentage than single-ended. So you always want to use a field solver, uh, you know, a boundary element method style or method of moments to get your final calculations. But you can see that you can keep graphing parameters, like you always want to know what's the trace spacing of your differential pair and how is that going to affect your impedance so you can quickly do calculations like that. And it has support for coupled uh, structures as well. And really you can only use the field solver for these cases to calculate those results. But I'll pull that up and I'll show you that it, it calculates your even and your odd modes for your delay and your impedance. It, it gives you um, the diff and the common. And then it also calculates the forward and backwards crosstalk and it gives you an estimation on the crosstalk factor there. So that's a really quick way to help develop your parallelism and your crosstalk rules. And then if you look at the preference, you see here you can set all your settings, your global settings for your dielectric loss your frequency point for doing a table frequency sweep model, the coupling length, and all those factors. And so those are all used in this tool to help you determine what your overall stack up should look like to hit your target.